Today's show is pre recorded. Like a million bucks, but the things in its cup. Mm-hmm. Y'all tell me who could it be for Steve Harvey? Oh, yeah. Everybody out there listening to me. Mm-hmm. Put your hands together for Steve Harvey. Put your hands together. Oh, 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 everybody you are listening to the voice come on dig me now one and only steve harvey oh yeah man got a radio show do you understand that i'm telling you god been big in my life i'm not gonna kid you i'm telling you and he'll do the same thing for you god god is a gentleman you know i want to i want to point that out to you god is an absolute gentleman he will not come in unless he's invited He don't just barge into your life. He gives us the power of choice. You know, if you say you got it, I don't need you, he lets you have it. If you say, I need you, come see about me, he right there. It's just a real simple thing, man. So I always say to people this, if you've gotten yourself into something, and please know I have, I, I, I was stuck. I thought a couple of times, well, might not make it past this one. But then if I don't make it past it, what's going to happen? And then I held on to this little thing that my mother kept talking to me about. She said, sometimes, son, when you ain't ain't got nothing else in you, just hope. She said, just hope it'll be all right. You know, and what I've learned in my life is that hope is the beginning of faith. Hope is just, is there a possibility out there for me? I sure hope something happened. See, uh, hope hope is okay, man. Because like I say, for me, the way I've lived my life, hope was the beginning of faith. It was just the idea. It's just the thought that something could change for me. That something could be a little bit different for me. That maybe, man, just maybe... For some reason, I could be saved. I could be rescued. Things could turn around. It could head in the other direction. Maybe I could quit messing up. Maybe somebody will forgive me. Maybe somebody will just say, all right, I don't know. But I can't count the times I've been in that position. But then once I hope a little bit, and then I remember also my mother because she was a Sunday school teacher. She taught me the most valuable lesson I've ever learned in my life. Nothing has been greater in my life than my faith. She taught me to pray. Mama used to say, when it get real dark for you, son, prayer changes things. She said, when you seem like you lost and you can't find your way, stop and pray. She said, because prayer changes things. 
you know, when you get a point in your life when you've done all you can do and you can't do no more and you just don't know what to do next. She says, stop, son, pray. And combine that prayer with that hope that you got. She said, because that hope is the beginning of faith. She said, if you pray just hoping, she said, if God come through for you, that'll give you confidence that he can do it again. And then after a while, you quit hoping. She said, and you start believing. She said, and that's when you're on to something. If you can turn that hope into belief, that hope into faith, the ability to believe in something that you can't see. But the key, though, to faith is you're believing in something that you can't see. See, hoping a little bit different for me. Now, I'm pretty sure, like I say oftentimes, I tell a lot of people who can explain this thing a lot better than I can to you. But just from my side of it, being as real as I can be, be rich. See, hope helps, man. If you ain't strong enough to have faith, have hope. And then if you pray with some hope and God answers your prayer, then that hope gains a little confidence. And after a while, that confidence becomes faith. Now it ain't just hoping, but I'm believing. I'm believing in something that I cannot see. Faith has been the key to my entire existence, even when I didn't have any. It was faith as I look back on it that has gotten me here. And not just faith, but my faith. See, you will only get to where you're going in your life based on your faith. See, a lot of people get the word faith confused. Like, what's your faith? Uh, And then they start going down this whole list of all these different religions out here. But really, in essence, man, when I talk to people about faith, I'm talking to you about your, your belief. How much do you believe in the unseen? How much do you believe in the things you can't see? How much do you believe in the impossible? How much do you believe? See, because faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. Faith is is the core of all that is happening to me today. It is the faith that I have in my relationship with God that enables me to just oftentimes, if I stay on the right course and believe a certain way and act a certain way, his blessings just pour. They just come. And it comes in a lot of little ways too, I've started to notice. See, it ain't just, a lot of people think blessings is money. Uh, no, nah, man, that ain't it. It's coverage. It's every time my plane lands safe. It's every time they predict bad weather and I get up in the sky and it don't be no bad weather. You know, this, this is favor. These are blessings that get poured out to me. Somebody call me and offer me something. Not money, but an opportunity. You know, some somebody say, hey, man, I don't know, but I sent this to you. I thought you might be interested in it. Somebody will send me a scripture or somebody will send me something. That's favor. And it always comes at a time when I need it the most. That's favor. That's pouring out blessings. Now, I'm also the recipient of a lot of other blessings, too. You know, I, I've been blessed with health. That's amazing blessing, man. I've been blessed with a spirit of not quitting. I've been blessed with the ability to shoulder huge amounts of responsibility. See, blessings come a lot of ways. But once you tie in to God, once you tie in and you start doing the best you can do and you start asking for him to make you a better person, to help shape and mold you into the kind of man or person that he wants you to be, You'd be amazed what God can do with you, man, if you just invite him in and allow him to be a part of your life. I mean, what you got to lose out there? Come on. If you're sitting in the cell this morning, why why would you not change? You have a chance to turn your life around with a relationship with God. What you waiting on? Are you going to just keep doing it like that, huh? Really? Come on, man. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you not allow God to be a part of your life? so you can get to where he wants you to be. God got some big plans for you. If he didn't, 
you wouldn't keep waking up. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Morning, everybody. <laughs> so you ain't had no business trying to hold it anyway. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. I, you know, you get into something you can't stop. I'm like, my, my body was going, okay, that's enough. That is enough. We are there. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Shelly Strawberry. It is the Steve Harvey Morning Show. What's going on? Good morning, crazy man. How are you today? Feeling I'm pretty doing good, good, huh? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What's up, Colin Pharrell? What's going on with you, baby? What's happening? Jay, you reminded me of the soccer player's goal. <laughs> goal. <laughs> what a goal. That gives me life. Just let it go. Yes, and my morning. main man, he is my sick partner and my writing buddy. Let's give it up for Junior. What's up, Junior? How you doing, man? Good uh, <laughs> <laughs> morning. <laughs> What's up, family? Uh, what's up, what's up? And last but not least, he is the king, not king. Hang of pranks, y'all. Put your hands together for Tom Tom, Mr. Thomas Miles, y'all. What's up, man? Yay, yay. Top of the morning. Andrew Brown, Junior Boy, and the beautiful lady of Carl and Shirley. Good morning, and good morning, America. Good, good morning, morning, America. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Woo. How are you Woo. today? Yeah. Yeah. I'm holding. I'm still regular sick, but I'm holding. Mm-hmm. Regular See, we, we are so different. To. We are just you different. Know, well, I'm, not, I'm not COVID sick. You know, I'm regular just, sick. I don't know. Time. I'm, I'm, I'm under the rule that if you're a little bit of sick, you take the day. Take the damn day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be a trooper, man. This, this is that. You remember when sick used to be kind of fun? You know, a couple of days uh-huh. you're gonna be down. You got a couple bowls of soup. You're in the bed. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, your lady taking care of you. That's just, yeah. That's not the case right now. Sick is not like that anymore, huh? No. Especially if you got COVID. Ain't nobody. Uh, no, they, they, they leave food at the door. <laughs> Like and like she told you yesterday, back away from the screen, okay? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whatever you got, we don't want to yeah. get it. Yeah. Whatever it is, it don't it don't sound like it didn't, I, we don't want to catch it. Whatever it is, we definitely don't want to catch it. So, but you had a COVID test and it came back negative. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I did all of that. Then I knew I was regular sick, and I was like, yeah, I'm regular sick. Regular cool. sick. You keep putting that regular. Yeah. Well, you know what, Tommy? I love you. I, I love you, and I'm Team Tommy all the way. But I'm gonna have to go like the old people go. Mm-hmm. That's what you heard. <laughs> I said, I said, Jay. Mm-hmm. Okay, regular sick. Or they say, Jay, don't come in here. No, don't, don't, don't you come in. <laughs> <laughs> Most sick people didn't put out by old folks. Don't come in here. Don't, don't you bring it in. <laughs> don't you bring it in here. <laughs> oh, I believe. Mm-hmm. Oh, I believe. But, mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> well, feel better, whatever it is you got. Whatever that is you got. We want you to feel better, man. Thank you, You're sir. Trooper. It's Thank regular you. sick. That's R.S. Well, um, I got RS. Okay, I got RS. <laughs> okay, precious. <laughs> you just stay over there with your RS. <laughs> All right. Uh, on with the show. Uh, coming up at 30, 32 minutes after the hour, it will be time for Ask Bitter Man right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. It is time now for Ask Bitter Man. Your disclaimer, please, sir. You will not be helped with this one. You will not. <laughs> you will not at all. <laughs> I know Just you a little bit. The, Just a you little bit. You sent the letter in thinking, I'm going to get some help. Nah, you ain't going to get no help today. Go ahead, Shirley. <laughs> if you help them, it'll be by accident. Okay? Uh, pure accident. By, pure yeah. accident. Yeah, I ain't all right. not like all right. that. Go ahead. Bitter Man. Got? <laughs> this one is from Anonymous in Lexington. Anonymous writes, I'm a 47-year-old married man, and my parents owe me a large sum of money. Uh-huh. My parents had a fire last year in the backyard, and it damaged the back of the house. I paid to have most of the repairs done, and their insurance paid the rest. My dad was supposed to pay me in December, but he hasn't. My wife nags me constantly to confront my parents, but I'm not going to do that. How do I get my wife to be more responsible? 
respectful. Mm. You need uh. to break it down to your wife and let them let her know what your parents. There's a song out called No Charge. Remember that gospel song? Yeah, No Charge. Back in the day, No, no Charge. charge. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nine months I carried you. No, no charge. Yeah. You sure no same? damn charge. And tell no your charge. wife your parents don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Chalk it up yeah. as you're able to take care of your mama and daddy. Now, you don't take care of her parents. That's on her. If her mom and daddy <laughs> needs some money, you, know, you got to come out no, your No, Jay, it's got to go both ways, man. <laughs> nah, Tommy, I totally if they, house, if they house burned down, then you got to help them, too. I don't what know, you, Tommy. <laughs> Jay, Jay under the philosophy. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? You take what you care of your do? own. Yeah. When her mom and daddy needs some money, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't part of the plan now. <laughs> You they spend money on mom and daddy. That's that's gone. You don't even look. Yeah, your mom and daddy, that's you got gone. it. That's gone. You'll never get that back. Yeah, then that's chuck right. that up. <laughs> Smiley, you gotta love that name. Smiley in Tampa says, "I'm in my mid 60s and I've been in the hospital for a week, and my girlfriend has been staying with me. I woke up in the middle of the night last night and she was gone. When I got up this morning, she was back." My handsome young doctor came in and thanked her for helping him stay awake last night. I tried to hide my anger, but I've seen how she looks at him. She's 41 and still very sexy. I told her not to stay overnight in my room anymore, and she called me paranoid. Should I be paranoid or not? Look, your ass is sick. Ain't a damn thing you can do, okay? (laughs) There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. You can barely blow the paper off a straw. So there ain't nothing. There ain't a, there ain't a Jay, damn thing. Can he, can he roll down them hallways at dude, 2 in the morning and try dude, to figure out you what's can barely, You can barely open your jello. There ain't nothing you can do, okay? But they did it, though. You know they did it. <laughs> Her and the, and the fine young doctor. Yeah, they did it. Was, she was gone. <laughs> they did it. And not only that, that doctor is going to keep your ass in the hospital <laughs> as long as he possibly can. That's right. That's they got to right. run more tests, Jay. Uh, <laughs> looks like we're going to have to keep you a little yeah. longer. <laughs> Pull somebody else so paperwork he, and read it to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have yeah. surgery and everything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In yeah the words got of some a, complications. It, that's right. In the words of a great singer, get out your feelings. That's what you need to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, moving on. Kara in uh, San Diego or Kara says, I recently moved to a new area and I'm trying to meet people and make friends. I met a nice man and he's been showing me around the city. The only problem is he's married and I don't want to get too attached to him. He said his wife is open to him having female friends and he wants me to meet her. My mom said it sounds like they're in an open relationship and I need to be careful. Should I come out and ask him or steer clear of him? Bitter man, I can't wait for this response. Don't listen to your mom. The man said his wife already gave him the okay. You need to meet new people. That's why you moved to a new town, to meet new damn people. You've met a person. You met a person who wants you to meet other people, and now you're holding back. (laughs) What was that? Who do that? (laughs) Who do that? You met a nice guy who showed you the town, and now he says, I have more people for you to meet. And you're like, I don't know. (laughs) Poo-poo on that. (laughs) Don't you hate it when people don't see naked invitations? These are naked invitations. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Tell your mama to stay out of this. You met a nice young man who's showing you the town, and he just said, I have other people for you to meet. Don't meet the people. You don't know how this is going to work out. So it don't matter if it's his wife or not. Don't, yeah. That don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. You know, ain't no secrets. <laughs> <laughs> They're friendly. All right. All right. All right. That's in you? San Diego in case uh, you guys forgot that quick. Uh, okay. Terrica. We need to get on, man. And Terrica (laughs) in High Point as we move on Mm -hmm. says my brother and sister-in-law are divorcing and it's tearing my family apart. My sister-in-law cheated with my first cousin and it happened to be in my guest bedroom so my brother blames me for not stopping it. (laughs) I didn't know they had slipped away to have sex. 
Uh, that was the furthest thing from my mind. Shouldn't he be more upset with our cousin? His <laughs> wife and my cousin are still messing around, but my brother blames me. What's up with ab- that? Your brother's absolutely right. You are supposed to be in charge. Oh, what? Of- <laughs> you're, you're supposed to- you are supposed to be in charge of who's doing who in the house. And if you don't keep an eye out for who's doing who, you're slipping on your responsibilities, sir, as a man. You are slipping. You are clearly. Open these doors. We don't set no doors around here. We What's don't going on in there? Mother. Yeah, yeah. Everybody need to be in the same room so I can keep my eye on you. You know what I mean? So you're agreeing with her brother? You think this yeah, is her yeah, fault? Yeah, it's his fault. It is his her damn fault. fault. Her fault. Cherica's fault. fault. Got all you're these right. rooms in here. That's what happens when you live in High Point, yeah. <laughs> Carolina. You got all that furniture in every uh, room. Y'all too quiet back there. What you doing back there? What's going on? That's all this heavy breathing. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, Bitter Man. You lived up to your disclaimer. You did, did not, not help us so. all. All right. Soul. Coming up next, the nephew would run that that prank back <laughs> right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, Miss Ann is standing by with today's national news. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has resigned. Also, wow. the Senate passed a bipartisan infrastructure bill. Plus, in entertainment news, Rihanna Fenty Perfume, uh, it's sold out in half a day. Wow. Also, have you Her. seen the Queen Bee? That is our girl Beyonce. Uh, She's gorgeous on the cover of uh, Harper's Magazine. Um, Also, we'll talk about all of these stories at the top of the hour. But right now, (laughs) the nephew is in the building with Run That Brank Back. What you got, Neff? I have Church Usher. Church Church Usher. Now, if you didn't grow up up in church in the Mm -hmm. 60s, 70s, 80s, Mm -hmm. you miss this Usher right here. Okay, this is, this, is this is that usher. This ain't the singer usher. This is the usher <laughs> at the church. At the church. Usher, usher. You know who I'm talking about. All right, uh-huh. this is white gloves, white hat, white stockings. This is that lady. Let's go, Kat. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a sister. This is Sister. How you doing? Uh, uh, good, good evening to you, ma'am. I don't mean to be giving you a call this late in the evening, but I... Mm-hmm. I am uh, the new youth minister. I haven't. Uh, uh, my name is Sean Williams over at <laughs> Missionary Baptist Church, which mine is. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, new youth minister? What happened to? Uh, he's no longer with the church anymore, ma'am. No. Oh my lord! Why? What happened? Well, I, I'm, I'm not at, at liberty to speak up on that, but but I, what I was get, doing is getting around oh, and making God. sure I. I met everyone because I haven't oh. met everyone yet, and I wanted to reach out to um, oh my Jesus. everyone at the church. But listen, let me let me get down to some more business That's because terrible. I've I, I've spoken with the pastor. Uh, um, That's we spoke. Bishop. That's what Bishop, baby. Yes, Bishop. Yes, ma'am. I know you're new, but it's Bishop. Uh huh. Okay, I I spoke with him on yesterday, and mm-hmm. we have narrowed some things down of a few changes we're going to be making at the church and. What we want to do is um, one of the major subjects that have come up, Sister mm-hmm. is that we're wanting you, if at all possible, and, and the deacons were in on this meeting as well, but wanting you to change your attitude when people are coming in and you're seating them. From my understanding, it's gotten to the point where they think you're wait a, minute, a little wait, bit. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait they, a minute. Thank you. Y'all a had a meeting on me. Well, it, 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 it wasn't a meeting. Well, I don't understand. Listen here. I've been ushering on that usher board for 47 years. I am the senior usher on that usher board. Yes, and ma'am. I really don't, I've been trying to be nice about it, but I don't understand how y'all going to have a meeting without me. That's first of all. What, 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 That's first of all. The, the, I, but now you're going to call here and tell me that you're going have, you having a meeting on me about me being nice. I'm always nice. Well, well ma'am, that doesn't seem yeah, to I be. I have a problem with that, son. Uh, honest, how old is you? 27, ma'am. Okay. Child, what is it, Can, Mr. Wong? What is it? Well, what, that, that's actually my call, ma'am, is that maybe we, uh, I figured if I would call and speak with you about the matter, that maybe we can get to some type of uh, 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 rectifying this situation to where I'll we can... what we're going to rectify here. I'm going to rectify you calling me this time of night, talking about some meeting. 
this don't make no time. And I don't appreciate you calling me any time of night. Well, where is Bishop? I need to speak to Bishop. B- Bishop is the man. one that actually. I've been at this church for 47 years. I've been saved all my life. This don't make no type of sense. You calling me here with this mess. Okay. Now, see, y'all finna make me cuss. I'm trying to be a Christian, but y'all not gonna let me be a Christian, is you? You just gonna, just gonna agitate me with this mess, well, telling me about something. Be nice. Well, ma'am, that, that's certain that they're having problems when you're seating the people, and that's all that we're trying to get this rectified. Is the the people don't want to sit down. They want to go over here. They want to go over there. They want to have the children running to and fro like a bunch of demons or wild heathens bucking around in the church like they ain't got no sense. And I'm not going to have it in my section. My section is going to be straight. And, and I understand it. You know what, Sister... sister uh, uh, I, I think if we did this, if you would do me a favor and hold your phone, and if you would just bow your head right now for me, maybe we can come to to, to, to get to get the man up. What, 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 what am I bowing my head for? Well, well, I ain't nothing on my floor because my floor is clean, baby. If, if, if we can my get floors you, is clean as hospital carpet. It don't make no sense for me to bow. What am I bowing my head for? If, if you could, if, maybe if you could about? close your eyes, sister, sister. Well, me, I'm not. Well, I was closed my eyes. See, you called me and woke me up out of my sleep with this mess. Talking about some meeting. I am very annoyed at this. And I don't appreciate it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to speak to this. Now, Father, we ask that you look down upon Sister K. We ask that you look down upon her right now. Right now, asking that you put a smile on her face on Sunday morning. Asking that you put some joy in her heart on Sunday morning. Asking that you draw all the pain that she and anguish that she might be going through. Whatever demon there is inside, we ask that you draw that demon out. We ask that you pull that demon away from Sister K. Right now, in your name, we ask all of these blessings to come. Because I don't appreciate this, boy. I don't even know who you is. All of my, who gave you my number? A uh, uh, pastor gave me the number and asked me to call. I am, like I said, I'm Sean Williams. We haven't met yet. <laughs> and I am the new... Bishop don't, he, don't, he, don't, he don't act that way. And it's Bishop for the third time. I done told you, boy. Bishop, be respectful for the folks. See, that's what makes me angry. Let me, let me, let me say this right here, sister. And maybe this will... Uh, shed some light on things a little bit clearer. I'm tired of listening to you, boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by Sister M- <laughs> who is also a usher at the church at Fred <laughs> Missionary Baptist. Sister Yes, ma'am. You wait till I see her Sunday. <laughs> We on the radio now? Yeah, yes, yes. This don't make no sense. Lord, him, this is embarrassing. Okay. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. You, you, this is Steve Harvey show. Yes, ma'am. That, that's, that's, that's my uncle. This, this is just a joke, though, ma'am. Hey, this, this is a little Tommy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, Lord, him. How you doing, Tommy? How, how you doing, sister? <laughs> oh, Lord. You, you... I am so This is, I am embarrassed. <laughs> I am embarrassed. Do you, do you listen to the show? Every day. <laughs> I never would expect myself to be on there. Oh, Lord, y'all done made, oh, my God. Y'all what, done you, got me on this radio acting foolish. I, sister, Lord, sister, I sister, sister, did this here to you. You, you mm, mm, mm. Well, how about if uh, y'all call me back and we get sister. <laughs> how about we do that? We do, we, we, we do a prank on, on her bills. Her pan, a couple of bills. You know, because she's short a little. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got to say all her business. <laughs> what is the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> Ooh, the Steve Harvey Morning Show <laughs> and, and Little Tommy and all them other little children, them little girls. What's that girl, man? She is so cute. I love her. Miss Shirley. Hey, Sh- oh, Lord, this is so beautiful. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Yo, okay, you Lord. Don't- <laughs> oh, crazy. Now, I did pray on that thing, didn't I? You did. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. I prayed yeah, on it. Yeah, now. Yeah, I pray on it. Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing shuts down a Christian like a prayer, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank the Lord. I know. Uh, Especially when they start without even talking to you. Father God, right now. <laughs> like, hey, hey, wait a minute. What happened to bow your head, please? Wait. <laughs> and close your eyes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. All right, nephew, thank you. Coming up at the top of the hour, entertainment and national news for you right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, so New York Governor Andrew Cuomo gave his own address and defended himself before he announced his resignation. It is effective in two weeks. 
Wow. Although, although Cuomo insists he is a fighter and wanted to fight the allegations, he says he will step down for the good of the state. He said, the best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing. And therefore, that's what I'll do. L- Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul will take over. She will be the first female governor in the state's okay. history. So congratulations yes. going out to her. Girl power. Yes, absolutely. She's a real strong candidate to keep that job. She's already visited all the counties up there in New York. Yeah, yeah. I saw and that. She's on yeah. top of it. So mm-hmm. I think the Republicans yeah. will have a hard time trying to put somebody up, another guy, to beat her. She's She kind of saw right. the writing on the wall and said, I'm going to see if I can take this yeah. job. And she's on, you know, people don't really know her. So this mm-hmm. is a good time for, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, absolutely. Yeah. for people female, to, right. to know her. So, mm-hmm. yeah. He did the right thing to step down, though. I think oh, that yeah. was the right yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. And, I, I, you know who I feel sorry for though? I just feel sorry for his brother, man. Chris, you just yeah. caught, yeah, you yeah. just caught because he's that. in a bad situation. You're right, Tom. yeah, you're right. He is, you know, and he's a journalist, mm-hmm. and he works, and he's for a, CNN. and he's a good one. You know, and he's, he's a, a good really, one. Yeah, and he's an attorney. Yeah, but the rules uh, have to apply. Yeah, they do. I'm sorry. And I'm they sorry. Do. If yeah. my sister do something like this, I'm on the news the next damn day <laughs> talking about it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> No loyalty. Just no. Yeah, yeah. You, let, you let my I'm sister with you do with so. that, Jay. Uh, I'm gonna be, be, be the first to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking gonna, news. Yeah, I'm gonna have a big picture of my sister yeah. behind me. Look at my damn sister. Yeah, so by, look at her. So, yeah. so Jay and Junior. So by the time it's over, you you lead anchor. By the time you just throw oh, your sister yeah, under the yeah, bus. I can't yeah. promote it. <laughs> oh yeah. I ain't gonna wait for the question to finish, Tommy. She did it. She did it. Oh, she always she been doing it all life. She did it. <laughs> tell, tell him how you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She did it. Yeah. Now nah, and now, uh, now nah, she not speaking to me for what yeah. she did. Can y'all yeah. believe? Yeah. Her? Yeah. Cut the nerve. <laughs> you gonna tell mama? <laughs> oh man. What did your mother say about your sister, Jay? Oh, my sister. My mother was a. My mother. My sister was the favorite because my sister uh-huh. was. An honor student all the way through school, straight That's A's, uh-huh. yep. straight uh-huh. A's with the college on a, a scholarship, mm-hmm. graduated from college, you know, but I always got my sister back. I was able to give my sister, my mother, way better gifts than my sister did, <laughs> oh, and okay. it just thrilled me. Uh-huh. She's like, what'd you get mama? She said, I gave her a car, and I'm like, I bought a car, how about that? <laughs> All in your face. In your face. Yeah. You be hating on your family. Yeah, you too, you're too old for that. Right. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm with it. A, I'm with it. You win where you can win. Yeah, what yeah. you buy, mom? I bought her a house in your face. How about that? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I sent mom on a trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you would tell on your sister. You would bust yeah. her out right on national yeah. TV. That's cold, Jay. That's cold, Jay. That is. I you wouldn't you, say sis. conflict you know I love of you, interest sis. or anything like that, Jay. Huh? You say that again. Say, that's a conflict of interest. I, I no, hate. no, we ain't no. Not me. No. Let <laughs> let let my sister mess up. Let, and she's a Christian person. Go to church every Sunday. Uh-huh, pray uh-huh. straight up. But if she ever slip, that's her ass. That is her ass. <laughs> you are so stupid. All right. All right, Jay, with your crazy self, let's go to uh, Miss Ann, please. Jesus. All right, everybody, it's time for Miss Ann Tripp. She'll be talking about my sister. Check it out. <laughs> Exactly. And I'm not talking about my brother. I love my brother. This is Ann Tripp with the news. Looks like President Biden secured the strong bipartisan support in the Senate that he was hoping for. His one trillion dollar traditional infrastructure bill, that's for bridges and roads and stuff like that. But the Senate also passed the Democrats three and a half trillion dollar so-called human infrastructure bill overnight, uh, strictly along party lines, which means the Democrats voted for them and the Republicans did not vote for it. But there were more Democrats in the majority just by one hair. But anyway, it passed, and that includes money for things like paid family leave and affordable housing and stuff like that that the president says we need as a human infrastructure measure. 
New York State's Democratic Governor Andrew Cuomo, as you just heard, announced his resignation yesterday. Uh, that was after months of resisting calls to step down from members of his own party, including the president. And White House spokesperson Jen Psaki uh, says that Mr. Biden didn't know that the governor was going to throw in the towel, but she provided her own reaction to the situation. This is a story about these courageous women who came forward, told their stories, shared their stories. Uh, and uh, the, uh, a, an investigation overseen by the attorney general that, of course, concluded uh, today in uh, an outcome that the president called for just last week. Governor Cuomo faced impeachment but still denies engaging any, in any egregious behavior, though he does acknowledge, he says, behaving it in ways that maybe were outdated and insensitive. But he says he's leaving for the good of the people. The best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing. Governor Cuomo still faces uh, possible misdemeanor sexual harassment charges in Albany County. Uh, that's in New York State. Dominion Voting Systems is suing two far-right media companies for lying. Dominion accuses Newsmax Media Inc. and One America News Network of spreading lies that the Dominions of people supposedly rigged their machines in favor of Joe Biden. They say that's a lie. The voting machine company also suing Overstock.com's former chief exec, Patrick Byrne. Dominion is seeking more than $1.6 billion in damages from each suit. An apparently well-known white nationalist has been kicked out of the U.S. military. It was discovered he'd been enrolled in the Air Force, and they said he had to go. Sean McCaffrey has a page in a website of five far-right stuff talking about hate against women, Jews, blacks, everybody. And today is the day we shame the devil. <laughs> well, shame on you. Goodbye. Now back to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Tommy, it is your boy, the president and CEO of Team Tommy. Please do the honors and introduce him. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go into the mind, deep mm -hmm. into the mind of one you've mm -hmm. never gone before. Buckle up and hold on tight because it is a place <laughs> that you can get left in that mind. Well, I'll mm -hmm. try to bring you back. I am the host of the mind of J. Anthony Brown. Welcome. I don't know if you want to come up in here. I really <laughs> it goes down August the 21st, y'all, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Once again, thank everybody for supporting the J-Spot. Last night, Hope Flood had a nice party. Here we go. Okay, this is a brand new comedy bit I like to call this. I'm talking to you. I'm not going to call your name, mm. but you know who I'm talking to. Let me say that okay. again. I'm okay. talking right. to you. Mm. I'm not going to call your name, but you know who I'm talking to. Hey, mister, a couple of days ago on Instagram, you tweeted that Black people did not like you because you were in an interracial relationship. You're married. Let me tell you something, sir. We don't give a damn who you with. We could care less. We love you. We respect you. We all up for what you're doing, but we don't care who you with. I'm not speaking for all black people, but I can tell you right now. Shirley, do you care? I don't give a darn. Carla, do you care? Not at all. Junior, do you care? I just want to do the dance. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. And, and Tommy, do you care? I don't give a good God no well. Oh. There you go. Now, see that? <laughs> Nobody on this show really cares uh -huh. what you do, who you sleeping with, who you changing spit with. We don't care. We really don't give a damn, man. <laughs> and for your information, Will Smith don't even care. No. No. <laughs> no, he don't. I don't know if you know it or not, but you were not our favorite. We, you were not. We were surprised how close you were to acting on the show to your real life. We were just surprised. You weren't acting. You were playing your damn self. Uh -huh. But here's what you really, really need to know. We think it's time that you really stop doing that stupid ass dance. That's what we really need to tell you to do. You've reached the age where you need to stop doing that. Look around, you're the only one doing it. Nobody else is doing it. Stop doing it. This has been, I'm talking to you. I didn't call your name, but you know who I'm talking to. I'm done, I'm finished. Well, I'm you finished. said that though. I said, said it, it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't call nobody's name. I didn't call mm -hmm. nobody. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. But you said didn't it, though. Call nobody name. But you I didn't say it. I'm talking to you. Stop. Didn't call your name. 
what doing. you know who I'm talking to. I'm well, out. Damn, I'm damn. Done. Stop. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Turn it's just somebody like. going. Somebody going, who, who are we talking to? Exactly. Talking to? All right, listen. Coming up at 34 minutes after the hour, we're the number one morning show in the world. We'll talk about it right after this. Woohoo! Yay, yay! You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, we want to celebrate and salute our home station, WBLS 107.5. We are the number one morning show in the what? In the world, baby. Worldwide yes. with it. Yeah. Worldwide. <laughs> yes. With adults, 25, 54. Thank you so much. We cannot thank our loyal New York listeners enough. Thank you so much. I mean, we also want to show love to our loyal listeners all over the country. Airway. We see you. Airway. We hear you. Airway. We appreciate love you. Love all y'all. Yeah. Uh, 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 big ups to Cynthia. Okay. All right. Cynthia That's Smith. Our pro- program love director over there, yeah. Cynthia Smith. Yeah. Clay Berry, mad love. Oh, Miss Ann Trip Bear? up Clay, in the Clay. building. Yes, okay. Our Gloria. My favorite, my oh, favorite yeah. salesperson is Gloria. I gotta, I gotta show her love. You know, Gloria's the one that, uh, uh, that I, I blasted her one day because she, she goes shopping. And don't uh-huh. tell her husband and, and keep all her stuff under her desk in her <laughs> yeah, cubicle. So you know, it just be bags so and bags. Yeah. So that's so wrong. Wrong. that's my girl. That. Uh-huh. Yeah, we love New York. We really I do. Love it, man. Yeah. Yeah. I got stuck on the elevator with Gloria in New oh, York. Oh, you did? Oh, oh I remember yeah. that. We were going up to the, what was it, the 34th floor. Yeah, and the that. elevator stopped and she panicked. She was like, we said, calm down, calm down. She said, I don't have no water. I said, what is the water going to do? Yeah, <laughs> Bottle of water. It's going to make you have to go to the a bad. They got it. She kept pressing the button, and they was like, ma'am, they're coming. They're coming. She just kept pressing the button. When are they coming? When are they coming? No, <laughs> the she from the, she from the south. She from, uh, what, yeah. what, I think Charleston, the low country. Yeah, you don't get stuck on the elevator. We, yeah, we don't handle that pretty well. No. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I didn't like that ride up to the 34th floor. Mm-mm. I think it was the 34th floor. It was I'm mistaken, but that was yeah. a long time ago. That's when we it were was. It yeah. was 34th, 34th, and, Park. 34th and Park. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yep. that's where I'm getting the 34th from. But now yep. the station is. Uh, well, we thank you, New York. We love you, New York. Love you so much. We yeah. Hey, Miss Ann. Miss Ann. Miss Ann. Miss Ann. Miss Ann. Trip. Yeah. The beautiful Miss Ann Trip. I just heard from her recently. She wished me a happy birthday. She's such a sweetheart, such a thoughtful, loving person. Mm -hmm. And we got to shout out our listeners in New York, not just like the staff, Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, everybody in Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, Manhattan, the Bronx. What'd you say, Tommy? The Bronx. The the Bronx. (laughs) The Bronx. Brooklyn. You know, you always got to say, it's Brooklyn in the house, and they Uh always are. They always are, man. (laughs) When When we were living there, I was going... I swear, every other day I was at a Broadway show. Every other yeah. day. That's what I like about it, Tommy. Broadway yeah. shows, but there's, yeah, it's a lot of stuff you can do in there. It's a city, like they say, it never sleeps. No. Never mm-hmm. sleeps. It's yeah. always something to do there. It's always, always fun. Always. It's it's great food, great, food, great the shopping theater, yeah. everything. It's right there in you, New York City. That's why it's a great and city. And I'm, I'm one of the people that if you cook it on the street, Damn it, I'm eating it. I don't yes. care. I, will eat it. I don't know <laughs> why. And, and Jay, I'm particular, but Man, I will I'm eat your hot dog on that street. I'm going to wait and laugh for this hot dog. I'm going to eat that. It just goes to show they've been cooking it for a long while, and if it was yeah. bad, they'd shut them down. They yeah. still there. It's got to be good. So I'm a hot, <laughs> hot dog and a slice of pizza. A slice of pizza. pizza. Oh, oh, my God. God. That's heaven. Yes, yes, That's yes, heaven yes, right yes, there. Yes, yeah. Yes. We love, love you, New York. New York. We love Thank you, New York. We appreciate Apple. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Jersey, too. Jersey, yes. all in Oh, yeah, definitely yes. Jersey. Yes, yes. Yeah. And don't I forget Philly. In Philly. Oh, yeah. yeah, we like yeah. Philly, too. Yeah. Let me tell you my favorite story, though. I used to ride the ferry home, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Across the Hudson River. Wow. So one time, <laughs> the bus driver, because, you know, you had to get on the bus and then go mm-hmm. to... You know, uh, ride the ferry mm-hmm. and all that. And so it was a whole bunch of police cars and, you know, sirens, everything going mm-hmm. off. So I was hesitating getting on the bus. And so I was like, <laughs> dang, I wonder what's going on there. So I looked at the bus driver. I said, what's happening over there? The bus driver looked at me. He said, I don't know. And what is this white folks moment you have? And get on this <laughs> bus and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you were black. Black Karen. I fell out getting on the bus. <laughs> that ain't your business. Get on, get on the bus, lady. 
said white balls. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, okay. Well, white and, person's moment you had. <laughs> yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we love New York. Thank you yes. so much. Hey. Yes. Oh, Coming have. up next, the nephew with today's prank phone call right after this. New York. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, I'm in love with the devil. Mm. But right now, we'll get into I've it. I've been in a there, now. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. Ooh, I've been there. Wait till you hear this letter, though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right now, the nephew. I've been there. Mm-hmm. Nephew's here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Well, you know, this one here goes deep, Shirley. <laughs> You know, because, well, they all do, Shirley. They all do. They all go mm-hmm. This one here, though. Yeah, this one, you know, because there have been men that have done this, but just haven't talked about it, uh-huh. you know. This one, here, this one here is, I've been dreaming about your wife. You understand this what I'm saying? This going to go left I, real quick, I, 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 real quick. I've been Ooh. dreaming about your wife. This You're a brave soldier. soldier. I mean, real but that, it happens. So, so call in, Shirley. Y'all ain't never dreamed about nobody's husband. They ain't gonna answer that. Uh oh. Was, was that a pause up in there? Was that a pause? They ain't gonna answer that. They're not gonna answer that. that. Not answer that. <laughs> Junior and Jay, have you dreamed about anybody's wife before? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I well, sure was dreaming about like mine. Like Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, cat dog. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Winston. It's Winston. Hey, Winston, how you doing, man? This is Kevin, man. I actually uh, I work with your wife, Renee. Yeah, we, 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 we met a couple times, man, at, uh, at the job. I think you might have been taking her to lunch or something, but I, I work like on, on the floor above her. Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing today, man? I'm doing good, man. You all right? What's up? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to reach out to you, man, and um, I had something personal I wanted to holler at you about, you know? Personal? Yeah. What, what personal like what, dude? Well, who is who is this? My name is Kevin. Uh, like I say, I I uh, I work I work on the uh, on the seventh floor. Your wife is on the sixth, but I, you know we met a couple times. Right. I, yeah, I know you said that, but I'm I'm trying to picture your face. What's up, though, dog? I mean, what's up? Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how how's you and Renee's relationship going, man? What? How, how's y'all's relationship going? What they got to do with you, dude? I mean, I mean, y'all, y'all. I mean, it. it I'm just. Uh, y'all been getting along? Hey man, me, me, me and Renee fine. But what they got? Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You say you want to talk to me about some person? You got some person about my wife? Well, some person about like what? What I wanted to tell you, man, is that for some reason, man, I've been having uh, off and on, man. Every other day, I've been having these these dreams at night. Please, dreams like what, dude? Well, I, 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 every one of these dreams, man, Renee be in them. Really? Oh, so, so you you work with my wife, right? And you calling my phone telling me you haven't dreamed about my wife? Well, just you know. Why you dreaming about my wife? Well, it's 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 it's. it's you know, don't worry about don't worry I mean, about it. You, you at work right now? No, I'm not at work right okay. now. What, but but. No, 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 ain't no but nothing. Let me tell you something. Don't be calling me talking about you finna have a dream about my wife. What's going on what, with what, you and my what, wife? What, what, What's your name, Kevin? I tell you what, did, well, I'm on my way up there right to hell now. No, man, I'm not, I'm not at the job. I'm not well, at the job. Where you at? Where you at? Talk, let's, let's, let's get off the phone. Why don't you walk? Let's talk face to face. You okay, ain't enough no, to I'm at, on my, my house right now. you get my number? I, Why you get my number? Answer my question. No, I asked, I asked one of the guys at the job for your number, man, because, you know, I wanted to be man to man and just talk hey, to you, you know? So y'all sitting there having a conversation about my wife on the job. Okay. I, 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 you know what? It's, it's all good. Uh, uh, let me, uh, this your number on my call ID right now? I'm a call, let me call you right back. Let no, me no, call no, no. Hold on, hold on. But, but, but what the hell you mean? Hold on. Hell no, I'm not gonna hold on. You calling my phone? Tell me you have a dream about my life? Well, man, I'm just, I'm just trying to be real with you. That's why I wanted to see. I, and, and, I, and I appreciate that. I'm gonna be real with you too. I'm gonna come whoop your. But I want to just, I just want to see how y'all relationship is going, man. <laughs> hey, man, it, go, say what you gotta say, dude. Okay, because see, dog, if these dreams keep happening, it must be fate, man. It must be that me and her are meant for each other. I don't know. I don't know what you smoke. I don't know who the hell you are. But I promise you this: when I get off my job today, I'm coming to whoop your ass. And if I find out that you're the one that's been calling my house and hanging up, you ain't got. Matter of fact, I tell you what: don't even worry. Don't, don't okay, even okay, worry okay, about okay. it. Okay, okay. Look, look, look. Let me ask what, you this, man. man. Why is she in all my dreams, man? Why is she there? You don't know what the hell you dream about my wife for. Probably because you're sitting and looking after my wife. What kind of dude is you, man? Every time you're doing that job, you're sitting looking at my wife every day. What kind of work you do, huh? You tell me you work on the floor above her. Is that why she can't meet me for lunch? 
No, no, it ain't, no. I'm in the accounting department, man. No, I don't know nothing. What you want to do? Were you finna be in the book department? Is it about five more minutes? Man, don't you understand that it's got to be fake if she keeps showing you up? You know, I, 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 you know what? Hold on, hold on. What, what, what the f is your last name, dude? I got your number. You say you work on the seventh floor or the second floor? What floor you work on? I work on the seventh floor. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You ain't got something to do with What's your last name? My last name is Well, why is she showing up in my dream? Why is she kissing me in my dreams, man? I don't. Let me tell you something. I don't know what the hell kind of dreams your is having, but when I beat your you gonna swear to God you're gonna have one of them Martin Luther King dreams. You understand me? When I get to your job tomorrow morning, I don't give a who do you call? Let's believe I'm going to be outside waiting for you. Okay, and why call is Renee making love to me, man, in these dreams? It's, it's just passionate, man. Renee loved me and I love her, man. Now, let's stop calling my wife's name. Call her my wife's name. Oh, but, but what you want me to call? You, do you know me? You say you know me, right? So you know how I am, right? I, I, I met you a so, couple so, times, so, man. You know what? I'm calling Renee when I get off this phone with you. Who gave you my number? Who gave you my number? Nah, I'll, 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 you, you, you so violent, I don't even want to tell you the dude that gave me the number. You man enough to tell me that you having a dream sleeping and kissing on my wife? Tell me why, that gave you my number. Why, 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 why is your wife kissing me back why, in my dream? My wife why is she kissing, kissing me? me? You having a dream about my wife, and I'm finna call her? She wanna get off the phone with you? Believe that. You, got, you have anything else you want to say to me? Okay, so 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 what I'm supposed to do when I'm asleep and she show up? I'm supposed to just wake up? I don't give a what you do when you do this. Yourself all I care. I, I, I'm gonna call you on three way with Renee. I want you to tell me that with her on the phone. Hey man, I don't even want to go through that. I thought we could call and talk reasonable like like me and dog. We, and, we don't talk like man. Why, why don't you come see me face to face right now? You call me on the phone. Come see me right now. Come see me right the hell now. Where you at? I come see you. You ain't gotta waste your gas. Come see you. I don't want to do it, man. I'm finna take some sleeping pills so I can get back to my now, dream. You finna take this? What is what you about to take? I got I got everything I need to know. I will be on the seventh floor tomorrow waiting for you. I got a special delivery for your You understand me? Nah. Wait, 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 well, let me call her first. Bye, man. Hey, I, 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 I'll call Renee because me. Wait for the, don't you call her. How the hell you get her number anyway? How you get my wife's number? Answer Renee, me that. Renee, you know Renee, Renee called me, man. She okay, called you? Okay. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. My wife called you? So you going to tell me about... Okay. 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 Well, let, well, let okay. me say this, though, to you. Let me say this to you. Once the, your what? wife called me, and she wanted me to call you. Oh, so my... Oh, so my wife told you to call me. Right, okay. right. Okay. But, 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 uh, okay. But, 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 but listen to me, Winston. But what? What the... Man, my wife don't call no... She, she wanted me to call you. I'm nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Y'all wrong for that dog. Y'all wrong for that dog. You know, dog, you wrong for that dog. Let <laughs> me tell you something. I'm gonna go to a job, beat the hell out of whoever came in. I'm hot as hell. Dog, you, you wrong. Oh, man. You wrong for that dude. You wrong. You know you wrong, dude. You wrong. Oh, man. Hey, man, I got one more thing to ask you, Winston. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Dog, you already know what the business is. Man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show player. <laughs> <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know? It does. Whoa. You it know? Does. Somebody's wife will pop up in your head sometime in the middle of sleep. It will happen. And the upsetness in his voice, I did not understand at all. I really yeah. didn't. I didn't. Oh, you I'm, did. trying, I'm trying to get back to sleep yeah. so I can get back to her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus Man, Christ. Stupid. All right. <laughs> Keeping it stupid. We're going to be stupid October the 16th in Detroit, Michigan at the Music Hall. It is the Sweetest Day Comedy Takeover. Dominique is in the building. Rodney Perry. That's my boy, Tommy Davidson, a legend. And God, Tory. Funny all day, every day, hosted by yours truly, nephew Tommy. Tickets on sale right now. That is the Music Hall, Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, man. Anyway, you were dreaming uh, about up somebody. Next... I'm sorry. I uh, <laughs> coming up next, uh, Strawberry Letter subject I'm in love with the devil. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter because uh, here it is right here. We could be reading your letter, all right, live and on the air, (laughs) just like we're reading this one right here, right now. Right here, right now. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the Strawberry Letter. 
All right, subject, I'm in love with the devil. Dear Stephen Shirley, I've been married for exactly one year to the devil. My husband is an IT manager and I'm a veterinarian. I celebrated our one-year anniversary and then I went to visit my parents for the weekend. My visit was cut short when I got a call from my neighbor saying there were a lot of cars at my house and she knew I was out of town. It was 1 a.m. when I got the call, so I did not bother to call my husband. I knew something wasn't right, so I drove home. It was a two-hour drive, so I got there around 3.30 a.m., and I parked in front of my neighbor's house. I walked in my front door because the garage was down. I saw bottles of alcohol and a little weed on the coffee table, and my hand started shaking as I walked toward my bedroom. Uh, I got my bat out of the hall closet because I knew something wasn't right. I saw my husband and two other women asleep in my bed. God. One of the women, wait, that's not even the worst part. One of the women was my best friend. Oh, no. I tapped each one of them with the bat so they would wake up. <laughs> I love that. Um, my husband jumped up first and tried to take the bat from me. My best friend woke up and I hit her in the back of her knees as she tried to run to the bathroom, to my bathroom. She was the only one I wanted to hurt because she was my maid of honor in my wedding. There is no way I'd ever believe my husband would do me like this. My best friend is engaged to be married, so I called her fiancé right away and ruined her plans. I'm most upset with my husband, and I kept asking him why he chose my best friend. He said it was her oral skills that got him hooked months ago. He admitted it's been going on for a while, and she's better than me in bed. This hurt me to my core. He's the devil, and I want revenge. What should I do? Oh, it's on now, baby. Well, <laughs> you've done a lot. I, lo- I love you getting the bat. I love that. I love you calling her fiancé and ruining her wedding. But honestly, I'm not your revenge type of girl, okay? Because life always has a way of paying you back for your wrongs. It just does. That's just how it goes. But let me say, like I said, it was a smooth move calling her fiancé. That was some good revenge right there. Now, if I were a revenge type of girl, I would have taken her clothes and made her leave my house. But you know what? Naked. I would have taken pictures of all three of them in my bed. I would have sent them to her fiance and her family and his family. Then I would have sent pictures to her boss and all of her coworkers. Then I would have posted them all over social media with the hashtag husband stealing STD carrying blank. Okay. Right, I would have so- downloaded Shirley Murdoch's right. song As We Lay. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> I would have put that with a picture, you know, the the picture up there with the song under it. All I would have done all of this. Let me see, did I leave anything out? Oh, I would have gone to her church, told mm. her pastor and the whole congregation. Mm. Um, hmm. Oh, I, w- I would go to the hair salon, because you know they tell everything. I would have gone to the hair salon where she gets her hair done. I would have told everyone sh- there she's sleeping with all of their husbands. She got some sort of nasty disease that she's spreading, so they better go to the doctor immediately. Um, and, of course, I would tell all her other girlfriends so they could light her up, tell her how stank she is. But then again, I'm not your revenge type of girl. So. Well, you so anyway, uh, uh, yeah, studied it, though. Not a lot. revenge type of girl. I thought you had two ideas, not eight. Woo. <laughs> you had a lot that you yeah. would not do, Shirley. There was a <laughs> lot there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not your revenge. You know, I'm not a revenge. No, you're not into that. You're a nice mm. person. Mm. You're not me. Uh, no. Personally, I kind of agree with Shirley, but here's where I disagree. <laughs> it's like the movie The Five Heartbeats. The quote in the movie is, this ain't about you, JT, which means this wasn't even your damn party. You weren't even invited to the damn party. <laughs> Why you ain't won't got go in there? You, you just ain't got nothing to do with you, JT. <laughs> Why you want to go into somebody's party, swinging a bat and 
concussion and everything. I'm sure this ain't what he had planned when he put a party together. Guess what, y'all? Later on, my wife gonna come in here with a bat and beat hell out of every damn body. He wouldn't have had people there had he put that on the invitation. This ain't about you. You're going to come in a room and make this about you. Uh-huh. It wasn't about you. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with you, JT. JT. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this ain't got nothing to do with you, JT. <laughs> Thank Why you, would Jay. you go in there and mess up? A, the man had it all planned. You know how hard it is to get a freak over two freaks in a Come bed? on. Oh, God. That's planning. <laughs> That's All right, planning. I'm done with you. <laughs> That's scheduling. Get it from Junior now. Thank you. <laughs> this this ain't got nothing to do with you, JT. <laughs> Come on, Junior. You start your answer off. I'll please. tell you what, though. You know, I, I read the letter. You know, I will say, though, <laughs> we need to start. It, it sounds like a sermon at church time. It could be one. Well, but let's thank God for nosy neighbors. <laughs> see, see, nosy Amen. neighbors I keep you in a situation You ain't got to be in long It's only one year You Amen. can still get out this marriage If it wasn't for a, And you know they added something on it Girl, I don't mean to call you this late But this show with a lot of activity at your house All that music loud over there <laughs> and Hold on, Trina <laughs> Hold on, we'll have part two of today's Strawberry Letter I'm in love with the devil At 23 minutes after, right after this You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show All right, guys, let's recap today's strawberry letter. The subject, I'm in love with the devil. A woman wrote in. She's been married for exactly one year. She says she's been married to the devil. Um, They have a good marriage. She's a veterinarian. Her husband's an IT manager. They just celebrated their one-year anniversary. The wife celebrated. Then she went to visit her parents, which is about a two-hour drive away. While she was there, her neighbor called and said there were a lot of cars at her house. She knew she was out of town. So the wife said, okay, I'm not going to call my husband. Something doesn't feel right. I'm just going to go home because this is like 1 o'clock in the morning. So she drives home, sees weed on the coffee table, bottles of alcohol everywhere. Uh, She parked in front of her neighbor's house so uh, nobody saw her come in. She went right in through the front door. Uh, um, Her husband, as she went into the bedroom, but before she did that, she stopped at the closet to get a bat because she didn't know what she was going to run into. So when she got to the bedroom, she saw her husband asleep with two women. One of the women was her best friend, and uh, she hit that woman in the back of her knees with the bat because she was upset with her, especially because she was the the bridesmaid, uh, she was the um, maid of honor at her wedding. So, of course, she had to get hit. Then, um, you know, her husband woke up and tried to explain and tried to take the bat from her and all of that. And uh, um, she, uh, the best friend, was engaged to be married, so she called her fiancé and ruined all of that. But she said, of course, she's most upset with her husband, and her husband told her why he did what he did because her husband, her best friend's oral game uh, got him hooked and she's better in bed than his wife she said it hurt her to the core and uh, she wants revenge what should she do I said I'm not a revenge type of girl but I gave her a couple of suggestions but I'm not into revenge you know Uh, (laughs) Jay said it wasn't about her as the wife (laughs) and of course Junior said this sounds like a sermon (laughs) yeah and the title is what Junior thank God God for nosy neighbors. That's right. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Thank God for nosy neighbors. Because you know the nosy neighbors saw the people going in the house, Jay. Mm-hmm. You know she said something. You know your cousin show sure look nice. Where your wife at? You know she said it. <laughs> <laughs> then she went and made the phone call, and here you come home at 3.30 in the morning, but you wanted to know about what revenge. Well, I noticed you was a veterinarian, which means you got access to animals. <laughs> well, since 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 he likes Junior. cats and stuff, let's go ahead and put these lions in here. Let's get these tigers in this house and let yes. them roam around. So when he come in there, let's see how you do with this tiger. Let's see how you do with this with this lion. Let's see how you gonna do with all. You got access to animal. Put a gorilla in there. We we'll gonna see who gonna beat who chest first. Then you can go ahead and get revenge like this. Get you somebody and go out of town with. And then you'll show who that is you with. You just post body parts like an arm. That's all he sees you with somebody with an arm. <laughs> then you see somebody with a chest and y'all out on the beach. See, that's how you get your revenge. Now he at home crying, worried about what you doing. Then get the divorce. I ain't gonna let you stay there. Can I piggyback that? Yeah. 
since we done wrote the same damn thing. Let me pick it back that you are a veterinarian. You got access to animals. So you are snakes ought to be in his car when he on his way to work in the morning. As soon as he get on the pedal, it ought to be snakes running everywhere. When he come on in the evening, kangaroo in the garage gonna kick his ass. You got to get you are you a veterinarian, baby. You got access to everything. Possums. Possums in the bathroom as soon as he come up in there. Three of them, he can't handle it. You got to put this pressure on me. And if you really, when you really upset, them pit bulls is gonna do the work for you. That's gonna. Do, I really don't. I really don't. Really don't suggest the pit bulls. That's like a bit too far. You don't want to do that. But an ostrich, I see that. You won't put that in the backyard. Put these animals on his ass. You just, the same way Moses did back in the day. You ought to be to just let it loose. Two, two by two. two. No, let man. it loose. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, there's your advice. You pigs. Advice. Pigs is good. Pigs is real good. <laughs> Don't forget okay. skunks. Skunks could work. Skunks yeah. could work. It's gonna be funky, but it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you got All right. Do. That's for me. We mm-hmm. tried to help. Mm-hmm. We're here to help. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. That's We're here it. to help. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's an IT I don't know director. what. I, I don't know what noise the skunks make. I they don't have to think. make no noise. When you got that kind of fume, you don't need to yeah, make no yeah, noise. Yeah, yeah. Skunks but are I very quiet. To. The smell is what's loud. You don't have yeah. to make no noise. I like <laughs> animal noises, though. Yeah. Oh, well, when oh. the skunk put up his tail. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. When they That's hit it. you with that, it's over with, man. And you anywhere. When you hear that? that? Boy, when you you, hear if that. your car has ever hit a skunk by mistake, you that's something you never forget, man. I'm telling you. Wow. Has that happened to you? That's never happened to me. Yeah, you never hit a skunk? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This it takes me. weeks. Is that like well, a normal thing? The smell. No. Not only does it stink, it makes you itch. It's all yeah. in your body. Yeah, you feel it all. Oh, what God. you supposed to bathe in? You're supposed to bathe in something. Like that. I thought it was ketchup. Bleach. Was it ketchup or Tomato something like that? Oh. Must have wanted oh, something weird, something weird. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Tomato juice, yeah. <laughs> tomato and what juice. What does that do? Take the smell juice. off and the, yeah. and the itch out? Oh, yeah. 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 And if you don't have no tomatoes, just put some ragu in there and rub that on. <laughs> <laughs> you got tomato in it. And if no, the water is hot some, enough, throw some pasta in You might well cook some while you yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you get it out, yeah. <laughs> That's some funky ass spaghetti they had, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Thank you all. Um, please post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. And check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. Now, uh, or you might have your own response. You might want to uh, help her out with your own form yeah, of revenge for this woman. She said she's married to the devil. She wants revenge. Help her out. All right, coming up at 46 minutes after the hour, Junior is here. He'll have Sports Talk. Sports Talk with Junior coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, come on, Junior. What you got before you get to Sports Talk? What's happening? Okay, well, I'll tell you what's happening, Shirley. Uh, The Steve Harvey Morning Show and Walmart Family Mobile want to help you get ready for back to school this year. Enter for a chance to win a high-end smartphone, six months of Walmart Family Mobile service, plus $2,500, and it's all going to be in cash, people. I said $2,500 cash. Enter and get rules at steveharveyfm.com. That's steveharveyfm.com. All thanks to Walmart Family Mobile. Get 40 gigabytes for under $40 a month from Walmart. Family Mobile, powered by T-Mobile. Get all the info at steveharveyfm.com. And then I also want to remind y'all, yeah, dot com. Also want to remind y'all that uh, Labor Day weekend, September 3rd, 4th, and 5th, come on out, Birmingham. We're going to be at the Stardome. Let's go to stardome.com for tickets. Now, in sports talk, um, there's a few things. Worst, first of all, there is a, a documentary, documentary alert that I just watched the other day, man. It's really good. And it tells uh-huh. the story. Uh, it's you remember, you remember the the malice at the palace, the brawl. It's on Netflix in Detroit. With, with, yeah, in Detroit. Uh huh. It happened in 2004 from with Ron oh. Artest, with yeah, Jermaine yeah, yeah, O'Neal, yeah. and Stephen oh. Jackson. Uh-huh. Ben, man. Ben, uh, Big Ben. Yeah, Ben Wallace was involved ben in that Wallace. too. And yeah. that, Ben Wallace was in the fight too. And it tells the story from the angles from the players. Remember, because that's when they changed the dress code in the NBA. Because okay. of how they acted, right, they right. called they them wanted them to start wearing suits after they that. They wanted right. to start wearing suits and stuff. Man, if I tell you that Jermaine O'Neal and Stephen Jackson and Ron Artest, man, tell the story from what they had to go through and how there was no security in the in the stand in the stadium, nowhere. It mm. was just them versus twenty thousand, man. And I'm telling you right now, Jermaine O'Neal, I got a lot of respect for you, brother. Because you remember Ron 
protest left the Pacers and went and won a championship with the Lakers, and they felt like he mm-hmm. bailed on them. Man, it's a great story. And that's what caused Reggie Miller to retire. Wow. Man, it's such a great wow. story. Y'all have to see that, man. Also, in other news, though, I do want to talk about this because this is important, man. The, the, you know, ever since the rules have changed on July 1st that now student athletes can use their likeness to get endorsements. Right. Get paid. You know, they always yeah. talk about Alabama. They always talk about all these other schools. I at least want to shout out some players from the HBCUs that's getting checks. Come okay. on. Come on, man. I got to give it up for Kai. His name's Kai Warren Dukes, man. He's a freshman wide receiver. He has become the first HBCU athlete to sign an endorsement, and he's going with Bo Jangles. Now, he plays for Johnson C. Smith University. And now there are some other players. There is Zabrian Moore, a wide receiver from Alabama A&M, and Gary Charles. They signed the Boost Mobile. They getting phones. These boys is out here getting phones. And Man, chicken. yeah, we got this. Dog, this is this is absolutely great. Yeah, that's a nice check. And then Jackson That's State good. got one. I want to shout out to Antoine Owen, Three Kings Grooming. This boy got hair products at, already at 18. We ain't had right. no 15. Thank you, Junior. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll talk about holding grudges, nephew, right after this. <laughs> uh, you're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, guys, in trending topics, we're going to talk about holding a grudge. Writer-director Quentin Tarantino revealed that he has never given his mother, Connie, a dime. On a recent episode of The Moment with Brian Koppelman, uh, that podcast, Quentin said that when he was 12 years old, his mother belittled his screenwriting aspirations and writing abilities, and he vowed right then to never give her any money when he became famous. I go, okay, lady, when I become a successful writer, you will never see one penny from my success. There will be no house for you. There's no cation for you. No Elvis Cadillac for mommy. You get wow. nothing because you said that. Wow. That's kind of rough. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't like being tied to this, though. I don't like how you put my name with this. <laughs> well, no, I take it back now. Yeah. Because you're very nice mama. to your mom. I got my mama not right. Not my mama. <laughs> Well, that's a question that goes mom. with it just about holding grudges, No, though. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but he was just saying he didn't like his name tied to it, period. <laughs> and I get that, Tommy, and I take that back. Uh, but I do want to ask, you're the, you're the grudge holder on the show. <laughs> um, See? <laughs> so I'm your neighborhood grudge holder. Go yeah, ahead. So, I'll take it. Come on. So that's why yeah. I tied Mr. it this grudge. to you Go ahead. Talk place. to Mr. Yeah. Grudge. Mr. Grudge. <laughs> you're a I'm mean just, one, I'm, You Mr. know what? Grudge. I'm just a, I, I try to do right by everybody. I just when you cross me, uh-huh. you have crossed me, and I'm, wow. I'm done with you. Once you cross me, and and once I feel like and you deliberately cross me, oh no, we're done. We're done. What's, what's more for us to talk about? We're done. Nah. So, not, so not my mama though, dog. Yeah, I could <laughs> never do my mama like that. Forgiving my forgiveness mama, bone yeah. in I your body, you don't people. forgive. I've forgiven people in the past. Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Oh, so I you have. are capable. Right, so you're of I'm capable. Oh, I'm yeah. capable. But Does but it but de- depend on what they do. It depends on what was done. I'm done with you. Okay. If you when I come to- when I when I come up with an idea and you take it and go make money off of it and then come come look at me in my face. <laughs> yeah. I'm done with you, player. I'm done. Done. Now you're getting specific. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's yeah. And you know who the hell therapy? I'm talking to. <laughs> done with you. But there's Man, such a thing over. as forgiving but not forgetting, nah, or forgiving done. and be, being for distant people. from that yeah. person. You don't have to invite them back in your life. I'm, I'm with not you. inviting them to do a damn thing. What you want me to invite <laughs> when you, them to do? For me, I'm back? with you, Tommy. I'm with you. When you feel you what have helped somebody. What am I inviting them to do somebody, something for? <laughs> when, you, when you feel you've helped somebody, you've gone yep. out of your way to help uh-huh. that person to do whatever. Yep. It is, and then you find out that this person stole from you. I'm done. I'm oh, finished with you. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm just, I'm finished. You know, and but Aries saying, are the people who get mad real quick, and the next minute you act, they'll act like you didn't have an argument. That's the way I am. Yeah. But like you said, <laughs> when I'm done, when I'm, I'm done. really done, yeah. I'm done. You know, you know. But you I, can I forgive someone, and, mm-hmm. and, and for, you sure. know. Yeah, you, you can. You, you can, can forgive someone sure. still and be done with them, but you could forgive yes, them. Yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, I, you I'm know done. what, though? Like, go ahead. I'm sorry, Junior. I was going to say, you know, sure, like, if I stop asking about your family, your ass is done. <laughs> I don't care about you, you, your mama, your kids, nothing. I'm done. All the way done. Not doing nothing for you. 
<laughs> and I don't have I don't have no long list, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's just mm-hmm. it's some people that would just try you, do you, cross yeah. you, and I just yeah. don't like it cuz I cuz I try to I but don't you, don't you do feel right that sometimes right. it's good it's good to cut people loose? I mean, it is. It absolutely. is. Absolutely. Yeah, you, absolutely. Right. absolutely. You have to. All I'm saying is it, you it, can forgive them, forgive them and still cut and, them and still loose. move on with your life. Okay, okay let me ask y'all yeah. something. What is the forgiveness for? What is that? You, it's, well, it's for because you, you, you want to be forgiven because you're not perfect. You want yeah, people you to forgive you. It, mm. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't I'm, have I've to be a, them, but it could be I've, someone else who you, you know. made a lot of mistakes. I ain't crossed to nobody. Time. And, I ain't you, and you want to be forgiven, so you can ask for forgiveness, Tommy. You can ask for forgiveness, Tommy, but you still mm. ain't got to talk to the person. Right, that's right. What I'm not, that's all. You ain't got to talk to. The person. I'm just gonna write a note. I forgive you. I don't even want to <laughs> talk to you. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to so talk childish. to you. Childish. Really is. I'm done with you, man. I'm through. <laughs> all right, we'll have more. We'll calm him down, Mr. Hothead, and then we'll have more of today's. You shouldn't have brought this story. story up. Who, who wrote this story? <laughs> On the Steve Harvey Morning Show, coming up in 20 again, minutes right. after. <laughs> right after this, Hothead. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Y'all done brought all this up by forgiving somebody. That is, we, is we back up now? About it's about holding a grudge. And okay. Yeah. And y'all want somebody to forgive people. But when somebody done did something completely disrespectful for you, to you, why am I supposed to forgive them for that? Why? Well, if you don't forgive, can you let it go? Can you, can you do because that? You, I, apparently not. I, 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 I let it go and I let it go till I see them again. Yeah, till I see them again. But when I Tommy, see them again, forgiveness is for you. It gives you the freedom. I to don't go want on with it though. Life. I don't want it. Who are you hollering at? Who are you I'm sorry. Like I, don't, it's us. I, don't, I don't want it. I don't yeah, want my, it. Okay. My daddy said, take some me. of that bass out your voice, please. Yeah. A lot of bass. And out your voice. eyeballs, Jay. It's us, man. <laughs> Y'all know y'all got some people y'all don't fool with no more, man. Come on, oh, yeah. I know oh, I ain't yeah, yeah, but I've yeah. forgiven them. I have I'm forgiven them. them for what they really? have done. Y'all have forgiven done. every person. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Really. Oh, y'all forgiven them all. Good. It's, it's not a problem. It's time I ain't speaking. This stage I'm not speaking. in my life, though. Yeah. Go ahead, Junior. I was just saying it. I wasn't always yeah. like that, Tommy, but now this oh. stage in my life. Yes. Yes. You, you have to grow. Yeah. Well, well when this stage did, in my life, bro. Carl, this <laughs> stage in my life, I'm not whooping their ass. You understand? So I have <laughs> oh, moved so that's gross. I've gotten past It's that, a win. <laughs> you know. Okay. Because I used to send some people to holler at you. That's what I used to do. I'm going to send somebody to holler at you. Now, I've, I've stopped that. Oh. I've stopped Tommy. that. <laughs> Look at okay. God. It down. We'll but I still got, the but I still Harvey got their number though. I do have their Coming number. up at 33 minutes after the hour. You hear him in the background. We'll be back right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, so New York Governor Andrew Cuomo gave his own address and defended himself before he announced his resignation. It is effective in two weeks. Wow. Although although Cuomo insists he is a fighter and wanted to fight the allegations, he says he will step down for the good of the state. He said the best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing. And therefore, that's what I'll do. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul will take over. She will be the first female governor in the state's okay. history. So congratulations yes. going out to her. Congratulations. Girl power. Yes, absolutely. She's a real strong candidate to keep that job. She's already visited all the counties up there in New York. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. She's on yeah. top of it. So mm-hmm. I think the Republicans yeah. will have a hard time trying to put somebody up, another guy, to beat her. She's She kind of saw the writing on the wall and said, I'm going to see if I can take this yeah. job. And she's on, you know, people don't really know her. So mm-hmm. yeah. He did the right thing to step down, though. I think oh, that yeah. was the right yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, I, I, you know who I feel sorry for though? I just feel sorry for his brother, man. Chris, you just yeah. caught, yeah, you yeah. just caught because he's that. in a bad situation. You're right, yeah, you're right. He is, you know, and he's a journalist, mm-hmm. and he works. And he's a, and he's a good one, you know. And he's, he's a, a good really, one, yeah. And he's an attorney, yeah. But the rules yeah. have to apply. Yeah, they do. I'm sorry. And I'm they sorry. Do. If my sister do something like this, I'm on the news the next damn day <laughs> talking about it. Huh? <laughs> just no loyalty. Just no. pure God, no. you, let, you let my I'm sister do something. Uh, I'm gonna be, be the first to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Breaking gonna, news. Yeah, I'm gonna have a big picture of my sister yeah. behind me. Look at my damn sister. Yeah, so by, look at her. So, yeah. so Jay and Junior. So by the time it's over, you you lead anchor. By the time you just throw oh, your sister yeah, under the yeah, bus, yeah, I can't yeah. promote it. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna wait for the question to finish, Tommy. She did it. She did it. Oh, she always did. She been doing it her whole life. She did it. Tell, tell him how you did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did. Yeah. Now, and now, now she not speaking to me for what yeah. she did. Can y'all believe <laughs> her? the nerve. You gonna tell mom. Oh, man. What did your mother say about your sister, Jay? Well, my sister, my mother was a, my mother, my sister was the favorite because my sister uh-huh. was an honor student all the way through school. Straight That's A's. Uh-huh. Yep. Straight uh-huh. A's with the college on a, a scholarship, mm-hmm. graduated from college, you know. But I always got my sister back. I was able to give my sister, my mother, way better gifts than my sister did. <laughs> oh, and okay. it just thrilled me. She's uh-huh. like, what you get mama? She said, I gave her a car. And I'm like, I bought a car. How about that? <laughs> All in your face. In your face. Yeah. You be hating on your family. No, you, you're too old for that. Right. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm winning. Not... I'm winning. You win where you can win. Yeah, what yeah. you buy, mom? I bought her a house in your face. How about that? Yeah. Coming up, it is our last break of the day. Hold up. Let me check. Nope. That's it. We out. No more. That was it. <laughs> And we'll we'll close out the show coming up at 49 minutes after, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, here we are, our last break of the day on this hump day. Hump day. day. Hump day. Yeah. That never gets old. uh, Hump day. (laughs) It never does, right? (laughs) And we got to do this uh, programming note. Our special guest tomorrow, guys, will be the one and only Jennifer Hudson, who's starring in the new movie, yeah, wow. Respect, which comes Ain't out. Nobody told yeah. me yeah. nothing. Easy, easy, baby. Well, well, yeah, what? she's gonna be our special guest. Carl and I will talk to her. No boys this allowed. No, no boys, boys allowed. allowed. Oh, that's oh, cold. Oh, that's that's no sneaky up. boys. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? You, you gonna hold I'm, a grudge? A, no, 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 I ain't gonna hold no grudge. I'm gonna call Morris Chestnut and me, Junior, Jay gonna interview Morris Chestnut <laughs> by myself. <laughs> All right. Hey, Y'all tough, ain't that's stuck. no tough. girls allowed. That's somebody no I had. Allowed. I had a grudge against was Morris Chestnut. That was no, somebody. no, no. Check this out, Tommy. We're gonna interview. We're gonna interview Morgan Freeman. No yes. girls allowed. Oh, How about that? Oh, <laughs> no. I'm okay with that. It's only one girl that's gonna be upset. You, you hurt me, Jay. You hurt me with that one. You hurt me. You cut me deep. Yeah. Well, right. if you gonna cut somebody, don't cut them shallow. Yeah, cut them deep. Cut deep. Yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah, so tomorrow Jennifer Hudson will be our special guest on Girl Talk, and uh, you don't want to miss that. We had a great time with Jennifer. 7 a.m. Eastern in the morning, Jennifer will join us. Yeah. That's going to be good. All right, so so I have a question for you guys, okay? Check this out. Now, what childhood accomplishments, think about this now, what childhood accomplishments do you still try to work into conversations? For instance, Were you an amazing track star in the eighth grade? Did you win the spelling bee? Or did you just get really good at basketball for exactly one summer? For instance, um, I got an A in geometry, okay? I still talk about that. A in algebra, geometry. Yeah, I still talk about that. So what about you guys? You still try to work it in. I can tell you mine. I can tell you mine. When Mm. I was in the the 10th grade, Uh I was failing I was definitely failing English and I was definitely going to fail but I did a play it's called it's about the last survivor I can't think of the name of it. the play has to do with all the black people leaving the earth for one day I can't remember mm-hmm. the name of the play I was so good in the play mm-hmm. that the lady said I'm going to give you a passing grade because of what you did in the play so I always try to bring that up in the conversation. Work you know, it in. You know when I was in the 10th grade, I was in a play one time. Speaking of plays. <laughs> We're talking about plays. Yeah. Right. I'm funny you brought up plays. Let me tell yeah. you about the play I was in. <laughs> we weren't talking about plays, though. <laughs> Did somebody say something you? about play? I'm going to throw that in yeah. there. Yeah, uh, that's well, my uh, oh, what I, what I'm, what I, what I work in, uh-huh. I, I do this, and it's not something I should be proud of, but uh-huh. I am. Okay, uh-huh. yes, what I was proud of. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, my great grandmother really didn't like me as a kid for whatever reason she ain't like me. 
I just could never do nothing right. You know, if I messed up, she was supposed to be blind. But if she could see when I messed up, you know, I break the lamp. Her vision come back when I messed up. Well, she liked to play Monopoly. And you bring you bring this up and you start talking about childhood memories. I work in the fact that I used to cheat her on the Monopoly game because she didn't like to play if she didn't win Boardwalk. I made sure she paid the electric bill every time she went around the board and I work it in. Now, that's what I be proud of because she couldn't see. She's like, I'm supposed to be on Boardwalk. I said, but you're not. You're right here on the electric company. 75 or 10% pay your money. That's all I'm talking about. That's, that's what I like did. <laughs> right yeah, she there. Care. Uh, oh. yeah. That's Don't cute, Junior. I work hard. Carla. Yes. Greatest accomplishment. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. As so when I was what's, in the what's, third what's the, grade. What's the, what's, the, what's, the, what's this question again? Oh, it's like, what childhood accomplishment do you still try to work into conversations today? Oh, <laughs> today. <laughs> So when I was in the third grade, Tommy, I was in Chicago and my third grade teacher, she told me and my mom that I was a leader and I was a star and I was going to be a boss and I was going to, you know, do something and be very, very successful. So to this day, I will still work that in the conversation. You know, Mrs. Balanoff. In the third grade, he oh, <laughs> said that I was a leader. You know, she you always said work that. It and, in, girl. and when I was in the sixth grade, I was the spelling bee champ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I can top yeah. that. When I was in the seventh Come grade, on, I went to a spelling bee competition. How about Don't that? Don't be trying to top my spelling bee champ, <laughs> That's what this is all about. <laughs> Come on, Jay. You, you did what now? <laughs> Come on, Tommy. <laughs> childhood. All right, childhood. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah, you know, I went to state, you know, uh, uh, one act play. You know what I'm saying? I, and I, mm-hmm. We won state. You understand what I'm saying? So I have to work that in. I know we're talking about cutting yards, but yes, I was in the state <laughs> one act play play. That's right. It was called Total Abandon, and we won. Yes, and uh, yeah, that you know the rest is you bring that up. Bring it up. Yeah. Uh, you just bring that. <laughs> up. How does that just yeah. come up out of nowhere, wants. Tommy? How you do it? How you do? It? Well, you know what? I know you guys want to come over and have some glasses of wine, but man, did I tell y'all I won state <laughs> one act play? Yes, it was called Total Abandon. Yes, yes, uh-huh. yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I was a, I was all star cast and everything, and, and you know, yeah, we, uh, yeah. Oh, after that, the theater uh, scholarship to Texas A and M. I mean, the, the rest is history. Yeah, it really is. The rest uh-huh. is history. What kind of wine you want? Mm-hmm. What kind of wine you want? Come on, Jay. You have another one. I know you have right. another one. Speaking of plays. <laughs> There you go. Did I tell y'all about the time I was in this? Anyway, we'll see y'all tomorrow. We got to go. We gotta... <laughs> Thank you so much. For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 